What is going on everybody and welcome to another fun Tacoma video. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Today I will be going over a little prep work for a front high clearance bumper. So that is why I'm sitting on the ground like an animal for you. Uh, so if this is your first time stopping by, please consider subscribing and giving the video a like. And let's get right to it. Okay guys, so uh, yesterday I helped a few guys uh, remove their high clearance bumpers and do all that stuff. And on both of them, they both had to remove this piece, which according to my notes, is a frame auxiliary cross member extension. Here is what the piece looks like right here. I removed the one on the left side. So I guess this is the frame auxiliary cross member and the extension actually just slides right in here. There's one bolt hanging it on. It goes on either side. You can see I removed that. On the inside is hollow. I still have the driver's side attached, so I'll remove that one real quick. It is one 18 millimeter uh, bolt, so you just need the socket for that and a wrench to get it off. Pretty easy. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly what this piece does, but my truck did not come with anything attached to this. I've never mounted anything to this and neither did my friend's two trucks, so it might serve a purpose, I'm not sure, but as you can see, if I back up a little bit, it definitely looks more streamlined right there on the passenger side uh, versus the driver's side with that extra three or four inches sticking out. And obviously when you have a high clearance rear bumper, which is pretty much gonna remove this whole section, that'll make it uh, much more streamlined. So I will be uh, going ahead and doing that prep today. Uh, sadly, I am not getting a high clearance rear bumper just yet. That is definitely, of course, on my to-do list for the truck. So hopefully sometime in the near future. If there's a certain type of high clearance front bumper that you love, please comment below and let me know what it is. And uh, let's get right to it. Okay guys, again, so this is an 18 millimeter bolt. You may or may not need to hit it with a PB blaster or something like that if your truck's a little older and you live in a snowy area where they throw salt on the ground because this may or may not be rusted. Uh, mine popped loose with a little cheater bar, so I've got my socket on here. Go ahead and take this off. Okay, and there it is. Now on to the next step, just to clean up this nasty gaping hole and make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so what I will be doing to fill this hole is using some of this uh, big gap filler that you usually use on uh, like windows and door frames. Before I get started, it's kind of dirty in there, just gonna wipe it out a little bit to get some of that crud out of there so this stuff can stick better. I'm not going to go crazy with the foam, just enough to, uh, you know, cover the front area and keep anything from getting back in there. There is one hole on the bottom, hopefully you can see right there, and then another one on the top. Not sure if you can see it. I already covered the top one with black duct tape, and now I will do the same with the bottom one, just so the foam doesn't come out that way. It will come out the front, obviously, and I'll have to clean that off once it dries. Okay, so... The whole area is prepped, now just to spray. Okay, if you have never used this stuff before, uh, just be very careful because if you touch it, it will stain your finger. It does come off eventually, but uh, wear gloves. But as you can see, it has a nice nozzle, so I'm just going to squirt this in there. It'll come out a lot like uh, whipping cream. It does come out sort of strong at first, so just make sure your eyes are nowhere near it. Starting in the back, and I'm going to fill it up till it overflows just a little bit. And I think that's good right there. Now I'll just have to let that dry for an hour or two. Here is the uh, passenger side of the vehicle for the foam. I'm just going to take a piece of cardboard and sort of smooth it out just so it'll be easier to work with. When this is fully dry, it is completely easy to cut with a knife or whatever. Just trying to make it a little easier in the long run. You can see I took off that much, so uh, the front of that will dry that much quicker. 
And after giving the foam a full day to dry, here's what it looks like. You can see even though I scooped it off, it still puffs out a little bit, so just keep that in mind so you probably have to spray less than what you think because it does expand quite a bit. And this is uh, pretty hard to the touch, and this should be fully waterproof for that uh, cavity in there that's mostly full of foam anyway. So what I'm going to do now is take some kind of knife. I'm just going to use this one and try to cut this off as even as possible. Make a nice flat surface and I can then paint. It does flake off just a little bit, but you can peel those off. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as you can see, that's pretty close right there. Shave it just a little on the corner. And sort of hand sand it. Okay, I think I can live with that right there. So next, I will just be using some nice black uh, bright caliper paint. Shake it up nice and good. And one coat of this should be good. This is uh, underneath here. I'm not really too worried about taping anything off. Really, the paint's just to uh, make it so it's not such of an eyesore, so everything's black under here and sort of hidden. You might have to hit it just from a few angles because it's not perfectly flat, obviously. So I think that's pretty good. I can definitely live with that. And there is what the finished product looks like. Standing back just a little bit, you can see it definitely cleans up the front line of the vehicle, I think. Even with the factory bumper and with the off-road bumper where it angles up towards the, uh, the fender, it'll just look that much better. And as I mentioned earlier, there's the uh, passenger side real quick. Looks nice and clean. Uh, both the front bumpers that we installed this weekend, they both had you remove these pieces anyway, and neither one of the trucks had anything attached to it, and I can't think of anything that would be attached to it, so it doesn't look like it's hurting anything to remove this and go ahead and doing this fix. Okay, everyone, that is it for the video. Nice little uh, cosmetic slash aesthetic mod you can do to the front of your truck just to clean it up just a little bit and of course if you plan on adding a high clearance front bumper in the future which you know I do so that's coming uh, you can count on that uh, something you can go ahead and do because after lifting those heavy bumpers and everything uh, anything you can check off your list in the uh, the future to get those done before you actually do all that install it makes it that much easier and uh, quick so hope you enjoy the video if you thought the video was useful please go ahead and subscribe and give it a like comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day